everyone, this is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures. As you can see by the big tag, this is a grab bag, or rather, a grab box. Doo -doo -doo. And I have two of them. I had watched way too many YouTube grab bag openings, and I was getting very jealous, so I called up my Michaels. They said, yeah, we have grab bags, and I asked them if they had a couple in their store currently. They said, sure. Monday, we were technically snowed in, but after a 24-hour period of 10 to 12 inches of snow um, and low, low temperatures, wind chills of 0 to negative 20 degrees, um, our work, about 10 out of 90 people showed up and no clients were coming in and so at three o'clock they said the roads are getting worse you guys need to go home and they closed early what did i do instead of going straight home i took my life in my own hands and went to michael's now this video is being shot so i can put it up right away it's going to act like a live video so there's going to be no cuts so it happens, happens, you may see dogs running by, my daughter's making cookies, you may hear her yell from upstairs, but we're just gonna make it real because I wanted to show you this. So, how they told me when I called that most of the grab bags currently are Christmas, they called it Christmas foliage. Um, basically all of their like fake flower decor. And then in a couple days, meaning at some point this week, they were going to have more stuff. So on Monday I went and I looked in these little holes. And you should have seen me. I was the only one in the store. Only one in the parking lot. All the associates were just walking around laughing. because Not at me, but just in general having a good time. Because what do you do when you're bored out of your mind? The store is the cleanest I'd ever seen it. And um, I managed to find one, I don't want to call it a dud box, but one box that I won't really use anything in, and one box that I hit jackpot. So I spent a total of $8 plus tax, and I want to show you what I got. So this is the first $4 grab bag slash box. And the reason they're already opened is, I had to open them guys, I'm sorry. So, Da, 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 da. The first one is this Mega Bow. Now they say it's $30. Um, everything I see, I kind of cut it in half because Michael's has so many sales. So they probably sold this for $15 or a little bit less. And then they probably tried to clearance it out for $70 or $80 and still nobody bought it. And that's why I ended up here. So huge big bow. Um, I got this Kids Winter Carousel. Seven, uh, 307 pieces. I told my daughter next year she could probably make it with one of her friends and just kind of have a little bit of fun. Retails for $20. This is a Christmas foliage. I got three stems. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's there. And then two boxes of Christmas cards. Sorry, my hands are cute. Um, sometimes we do Christmas cards, sometimes we do picture cards, so I can always give these to my grandmother as well. She loves Christmas cards. There was one box when I looked in the hole, literally had like three stacks of these, the whole box. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have gotten like 24 boxes of Christmas cards. <laughs> um, these big bottle openers, retails for $7.00. This one says Ale Yeah, and this one says Bottoms Up. Now this thing was kind of weird. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's a canvas book, but inside are these like plastic sheets, and then they have these canvas sheets. Don't know exactly what somebody would use this for. So I have to figure that out. Then you've got a bunch of, literally, a bunch of these gold, there's three of them, um, ornaments. And 
then you've got a bunch of these tiny tree ones. these 40 sheets they're mini albums I was talking to my daughter we opened one of them and they're just blank sheets of paper that you could stick you know photos in and stuff but they could also be really cool sketchbooks so I said you know maybe you could give these as gifts to your friends for their birthday party you should go to now this one I laughed really hard at my husband it's an extremely heavy tree, and it retailed for $8. I'm like, who in their right mind? At first I thought it was a candle, but it's like this wood, heavy wood tree. Decorative use only, not as a toy. And even at 50%, who would buy it for $4? Crazy. I'm sure there's a market for that. And then I ended up with four reindeer cutouts. I ended up with this squishy sticker. This blinged out snowman. And these are plastic. A Christmas tree, a snowman, and another snowman. I think one's like a Mrs. and one's a Mr. And then this one was a, a bear a Christmas tree, and a gingerbread man. So I could always use those next year and fill them with like M&Ms or something and give them as gifts at work. So forgive me while my camera goes crazy and I put some of this stuff back. Otherwise, I won't have room for the next box. While I'm doing this, I do want to let you know that you will see my name changing shortly back to what it was supposed to be before I locked my name. So it will be DP Addiction Adventures, but I'm going to add with Jennifer Roberts so that you guys know it's me. But then my channel will have more of what it's supposed to have. So, are you ready for box number two? Do, do, do. Now this is the box that I think I scored the gun. This one's more crafty. So I ended up with two more of these albums. Love Your Fabulous Self and then there's a peachy one. Two more of these bottle openers. One says Cheers and one says Bottoms Up. Two more packs of Christmas cards. They retailed for $15. Oh dear, we have a tennis ball invasion. Hello! Oh goodness. And then this I think was left over from the fall. Alright. Then got this one random flower and all of these planner tapes okay that's not funny my daughter's throwing tennis balls down the stairs um, so all these planner tapes the difference with these is that they're not straight across they're kind of decorative but two of these will be going in the giveaway all right here's a psychedelic pineapple. This one made me laugh. It was a uh, panda corn. A panda bear with a unicorn. And then this one is fruit. And this one is pretty and some pastel swans. And this one's avocado and tacos. And then these are the same as what I just showed you. But I think I got like 11 of them. 
This one's a cute little card holder. It stands. So you can put, you know, maybe business cards or little thank you cards. And then I got all the letters that people never buy. Um, sorry, I'm doing this one handed. So the U's and the Y's. Um, these are monogram, removable monogram stickers. I got about 11 different ones, and then this was just a sticker itself. Um, probably leftover from Halloween. Yep, Halloween, an orange light set. I got cut out apples, and then a clean and Um... I don't know how you would hook this. If it was flat, I could put a magnet on the back. But a clean and dirty little thing. Maybe it goes on the, a basket. And then this is what I love. I got two pails. And I think this was worth the $4 as well. Because this pail, oops, earthquake, retails for $25. see if I can get my big thumb out of the way. $25. Look at that. Isn't, oh, no, it's not going to focus. Isn't that cute? Like, it's got little handles on the side. So, yeah. I thought that was cute. And then this metal one, which retails for $15. So, I thought that was really cute as well. So, I got all that for $4. If you add it together, it was $8. I think it ended up being $8.48 after tax. So those are my two grab boxes. If we weren't expecting another 10 inches of snow today and our governor hadn't declared a weather emergency, I would probably try to get back out today because they were going to put out some more craft stuff. But I'm going to be good. I'm not going to risk my life. I'm going to try to finish my tulip diamond painting. And thank you so much for hanging in there. It was kind of crazy with a dog and a tennis ball and lots of movement, but those were my two $4 grab boxes. Until next time, have a blessed day. Take care.